We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So the goal of the dialogue scene was to teach you another way of how they actually film dialogue scenes, and often they do it with one camera. And so um, what you're seeing here is you're not only learning how to edit, but you're also seeing how they film it because that's what you are doing. And let me just kind of say this project over again. When we get done with this practice one, you're going to write, you're going to recruit actors either from this class or if you wanted to film outside of this class, you're going to have two actors talk about it, right? And then you are going to um, film it and edit it just like how this scene is. So you're going to have to film one or two takes as a wide, one or two takes as a close-up for each person, and you're going to have at least six to eight shots for you to kind of do the same process with your own projects. The whole reason why we're doing this is so that you learn and understand how to do a dialogue. The other fun trick you're going to do is you're going to record this thing we haven't talked about yet. You're going to, we're going to do a practice exercise of this too. You're going to record the audio separately. You're actually going to have the audio disjointed from the video, and you're going to have to go back and sync those together. Okay, so that's another thing that um, they do in film where they have them actually separated, and we're going to practice that as well. We're going to do a little practice filming exercise before you do your film. So this turns into a very big, this is a very big unit, I know, um, but it's important. 90% of filmmaking in TV is dialogue exchanges, right? Um, maybe not 90%, maybe 80%, but still. So um, if you were just walking in, you're opening up your projects. Please take out your headphones and get focused because I want to go really fast today and then give you some time just to kind of work and play. Right. Okay. Whoop. There you go. These are the biggest ones they have for IMAX. I'm sorry. You need a dual screen. Okay. So, we have done the rough and the, radio, the rough cuts for the radio and the visual edits. Um, we've gotten our thing away from ping-ponging. We have those hanging edits. Most of your, your shots should be hanging. And then yeah, Tuesday, we did uh, audio replacement, where we, took, we looked at the McGurk Effect video, and we replaced one uh, audio take with one different video take. And I told you to do that twice, one for him, one for her. And the idea of that is, is you get different performances that way. Imagine that. Like, imagine I can take a visual element from me doing one thing in this class and then a different time when I explained it using that audio, right? It's just more tools and more power to your editing making your movie that more impactful, right? So now we're going to talk about some nitty gritty stuff. The first thing we're going to do is a lot of you have been dealing with this problem, especially since you've been doing audio replacements, is how to deal with the blank spots. So by the end of today, you're going to have a movie that will have probably a really trimmed, nice sounding uh, transition between every single person talking, and you're not going to have any more blank spots. I'll show you how to deal with those things. So we're going to really trim up our audio, and then we're going to throw in a background layer. And there's two ways to do that. All right. So that's our goal. That's what we're doing today. All right. You ready? I am. I really like this unit. I like this unit a lot because it's kind of like the nitty gritty of filmmaking. This is this is the this is where filmmaking really happens. All right, let's get rid of think, let's unlink that one and delete it. Just want Is this what I want? Yeah. All right. And then I'll just unmute this. I think we're good. All right. So, here's our whole take take again. I'm not going to play the whole thing for you. Yes. Okay, I've repeated myself three times now. Great. Now, when you get to places like here, um, where you've done some audio substitutions and you've moved some stuff around, you might have these blank spaces. And that's okay. Oops. Right. So I still have a little bit more to kind of fix here, right? Um, first off, let's see. So I need to get rid of this jump cut, so I need to pull that even further away, right? Um, I need to fix that up, which I'll do in a second. I don't want you guys to watch me do that. Um, but I have this, this blank space here, and that's fine because there's some steamrolling, right? 
And then uh, right here. So right here, you can hear it. You can barely hear it, but it's there. All right, time, time. Right, did you guys hear that? So I got to get rid of this little spot right here. So she says time twice right there. So we got to get that no to just be no. Go away time. Let's see now. A little bit more. Okay, and I want a little bit more here. And that no to oh come on, I need that to be closer together. So I'm going to do another hanging edit right here. So I want no and then oh come on. So I want to squeeze that space up. But it's okay that I have this blank space. I'm going to show you a trick here later. So right here, no, oh come on. I want again, I'm going to have to do a hanging edit, right? So what I'm going to do is this piece. Oh, it's already unlinked. Sweet. I'm going to go to my roll tool. I did the wrong tool, didn't I? Yes, I did. I'm going to go to my roll tool, not my ripple tool. That one. And I'm going to pull this so that it kind of covers over here. Oops. No, actually, I want to do my ripple tool. The ripple tool is going to pull this in, da, 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 something like that, there, so that I can kind of get this to be over here. And then maybe I'll do my ripple tool, like that, or my roll tool, sorry, like that. So now the come on is right after it, a little bit closer even. So I can either pull it closer or I can, can go here, do doot, do doot. Get this guy even closer so that they steamroll each other like so. There you go. There. I would also kind of work on this probably. I might space it out, give a little bit more of a beat to where he says probably. Um, again, that what that would do is create a blank space. And then this spot here, this one spot where I have, this is called a jump cut. You do not want this. Everyone look. Because I get this about, from previous lessons, I get this at, mm, probably get like 5 out of 30, turn something in like this. You do not want this. See what happens? Right? That's a jump cut. That's because I grabbed her audio or her video to get a better performance here. How do I fix that? There's a couple things. I could take this and pull it and then try to resync up more audio. That would be a big pain in the ass. What's another way I could fix this easily? Yeah. I can insert a clip of the guy or a wide shot even. I can throw in some other, actually she's probably talking, but she has this nice little beat. So what I want to do is, and this is, we're going to read an article later called by a very fantastic editor. He talks about eyes. So he really tries to pay attention to the eyes and he looks up right there. Boom. So right when she looks up, I'm going to cut to the judge. She's, I'm pleading my dad. He's dead. I'm going to bury him. And then with her eyes, right when she looks up, boom, we're going to change the focus, boom, to the guy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some shot of the guy where he's kind of like just pensively thinking. And I'm going to get a close-up. The reason why I'm choosing a close-up instead of a mid, I'm doing a close-up because this is supposed to be his like warm closeness, right? When, he, when he's negative and grumpy, I go to the mid. When he's nice and warm and close and kind of father figure I go to the close-up, right? Again, these are the decisions you should start thinking about when you're making, when you're editing. All right, so let's see, right? He's, yeah, this little, oh, look at that. He's got eyes and he looks down. It's okay if she's talking. Oh, she's not even talking there. Great. So eye contact. So boom, her eyes lift up. His eyes are there. And then boom, they lift down. This is a perfect spot. So I'm just going to go right about there, eye. And then just I just need a little short one. One second, two seconds. Right there, boom. Yeah, your dad was a great man, huh? Now, I got to also make sure I didn't use that somewhere else, which I'll find out in a second, right? Uh, reaction shot. Remember to unplug your audios. Some of you are still getting hung up on that. A1 is no longer blue. V1 will be blue, but I got to move V1 all the way to above this shot right here. Be enough. Oh, it's probably too much. Let's see, right there. Might need to trim it down. Uh, let's see, a little bit. I don't need him nodding for too long. Let's see how that feels. Is it too quick? Boom. Maybe a little bit. I need to see her eyes a little bit more before going to his. Let's see. Eye contact. Yeah. And then a little bit longer. I need to get, uh, stop. 
I needed to kind of hang on him just a little bit more because it just seems like too quick. Right about there. Remember, it's a little off sync at the beginning. That's okay. It's in sync at the end. And I don't want to get, she has a sigh right here. I want to get rid of that sigh. Screw that sigh. All right? Something like that. Okay. Way better, right? So the sigh really kind of made it sound cheesy. Trim that a little bit. All right. So this is where you, this is why we call it the upcut. You're getting really detailed. Uh, if you take Miss Angelone's class, this is the dental draft, right? This is where like you're, you're getting on all the nooks and crannies and you're scraping off the plaque on the inside of the teeth. I know I got gross for a second, right? Um, so you, you want to get nice and nitty gritty and really kind of perfect these things out. It's okay that you have these blank spaces. The next step, leveling out all the audio and doing a background layer, that's what's going to help fix that. So go through your draft right now. Uh, and if you haven't added that audio replacement, add audio replacements. I gave you some time on Tuesday to do that. Um, make sure that everything's hanging and then really make sure that your audio is, is clear and that you're not having any of that steam rolling, right? Where you're having that line double up because you use two different takes. Um, just really kind of get nice and nitty gritty right now. Okay. So time to work. And then at about halfway through the class, we're going to talk about leveling out your audios.